everyone, welcome back to Desert Girl Coastal Life. My name is Melissa and today we're going to show you how I prune my avocado trees. We are located in Vancouver, BC in a zone 8B and here as we are coming into fall, our avocado trees cannot be kept outdoors. So I'm going to prune them down. We're going to keep some inside the house and the biggest one we have, which is now 8 feet, we're going to prune down and keep in the greenhouse. So this is going to be a winter long experiment to see how they do. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, we're going to start by first looking at all the different uh, avocados we have to prune today. This one here is a younger avocado that I've been growing. And the key with pruning is you want to stop its apical dominance by, as you can see where my finger is, pruning at a point just above a leaf node, and this will force it to branch out. Now, this is the largest avocado and the oldest avocado we have. It is 19 months old, and we're probably between eight and nine feet. So this one, we have a lot of branches that we have to tip prune, and we also have quite a bit of height to bring down. These are another set of younger avocados. We have one that is just a straight uh, trunk all the way up, and we have two others in a pot, and one of them already has branching started quite low. So looking here at the 19 month avocado, we have uh, lots of really good growth, and we're going to be bringing it down. So once you've got your pruners cleaned and disinfected, we are going to go ahead and just pick a spot at the height that you would like your first branching to start. Now, if this is actually called apical dominance when the trunk goes straight up, what we're doing is we're preventing it from doing that further and where we cut it, it will now produce the offshoots with branches. So as you can see here, I did a 45 degree cut. This helps with healing and if there is any water moisture, it will roll off. And we will come back and do an update to show you the branching that happens in the next month. Now, starting with these other two little trees, once again, just like the first one, we're going to pick a spot where we would like to have our first cut, cutting at a 45 degree angle and keeping it a very clean cut. We're just going to remove the top. Now here in this container I do have two avocado pits started. One has a straight trunk. The other one has some branches that have already started. So I'm just, as you can see, I'm just going to take off the tip and leave the two branches. will tackle this very tall avocado. Now as you can see here, I'm really quite short <laughs> compared to the height of this avocado tree. So I'm having to take my time to look up to see where the branches are and really decide where I want to prune this tree. I probably could have pruned it um, much lower, but I do want to keep this at you know, roughly six to seven feet. So this is kind of my decision making in this. It may change next year. So again, just making a very clean cut. And there she goes. So now we're going to do what's called tip pruning and on the branches we're going to prune off the tips of them to promote additional branching. Thank you. 
after you've done your pruning and you've removed all the branches you want to remove, what you do with those branches is really important. The branches and the leaves contain all the nutrition that this avocado tree needs to grow. And so the key with your pruning is that you want to then place it if your avocado is in the ground, you want to place those cuttings all around the base of your tree for them to decompose and allow that nutrition back into the ground for the tree. In my case, my avocados are all in pots. So I am going to be taking all of the leaves, cutting them down, and then I will be placing the chunks all around the very top of the pots. And again, I'm probably gonna make it a good two inches deep because I really do want every single tree to have as much viable nutrition throughout the winter. This is the first time I have ever pruned an avocado tree, and so I'm glad you joined me today as we tip pruned and brought down the size. So going forward, we're going to have more videos on our little avocados to see how they fare. And if you want to follow along, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the all notification bell so that you won't miss a future video. And if you enjoyed this video today, please consider giving it a like. It really helps the algorithms to show YouTube what you enjoy and what to show more of. So until next time, no matter what you grow, I hope you grow what you love. Bye!